determine the indicated terms of the sequence given a sub n equals eight plus negative one raised to the power of n. Notice how the subscript indicates the value of n, which means to determine a sub one, we know n is equal to one, and therefore a sub one is equal to eight plus negative one in parentheses raised to the first power, and negative one to the first power is equal to negative one. This simplifies to eight plus negative one, which is equal to seven. To determine a sub two, we now know n is equal to two, which means a sub two is equal to eight plus the square of negative one. The square of negative one is equal to positive one. This simplifies to eight plus one, which is equal to nine. To determine a sub three, we now know n is equal to three, and therefore a sub three is equal to eight plus the cube of negative one. The cube of negative one simplifies to negative one, and therefore this simplifies to eight plus the negative one, which is equal to positive seven. To determine a sub four, we now know n is equal to four. A sub four is equal to eight plus the base of negative one raised to the fourth power. Negative one raised to the fourth power is equal to positive one. This simplifies to eight plus one, which is equal to nine. If we pause here for a moment, notice how when the exponent on negative one is odd, we are multiplying an odd number of negatives, and therefore this simplifies to negative one, and when the exponent on negative one is even, we are multiplying an even number of negatives, and therefore this simplifies to positive one. This will help us determine the 99th and 100th term. To determine a sub 99, we know n is equal to 99, and therefore a sub 99 is equal to eight plus negative one raised to the 99th power. So because we have negative one raised to an odd power, this will simplify to negative one, giving us eight plus negative one, which is equal to positive seven. And then for a sub 100, we now know n is equal to 100. a sub 100 is equal to eight plus negative one raised to the hundredth power. Because we have negative one raised to an even power, this is going to simplify to positive one, giving us eight plus one, which is equal to nine. Notice how the terms alternate between seven and nine. This is called an alternating sequence. I hope you found this helpful.